This next example is the composite bouquet. And I did this using one rose. You can see it's come through here. And then I glued all of these petals in place. Start off with a cardboard. Something about this size, which is a six inch diameter. If you go to a bakery or even um, a craft store, you can buy boxes of these. They're made for cakes. If, if you were into baking, you would bake your cakes and put them on top of these pieces of cardboard. So that's typically where I get them. If you can't find those or don't want to do that, you can simply cut your own out using like a heavy, maybe a card stock or a cardboard. I use my floral knife and I put a little X right in the center. And that's because that's where I'm going to pull through my first rows. And I cut the stems a little shorter just to make it more manageable. On this example that I made up, I went ahead and glued some feathers to the bottom of the board before I added my flowers. And this one I used ostrich feathers, but I went and bought a bag of feathers from the craft store. These are just white feathers. I don't even know what kind of a bird they come from. But you could also just take and glue these to the bottom of the board, not to the top because you're going to be gluing your rose petals to the top. Again, I used white. In this case, I used an ivory. You can use whatever color you want, whether it be the flower a different color or the feathers a different color. The combination is entirely up to you. And all I'm going to do is add a little bit of glue on the bottom, and I'm going to start as close to this rose as possible and just start adding my rose petals. This glue works best if you actually give it, you know, maybe 30 seconds to dry before you try to stick it to anything. So I'm not going to finish this because I think that you can get the idea. You can see how this rose already looks twice the size that it started. And when it's finished, it'll look like this. So pretty fun, pretty easy to do. And for this year particularly, because vintage is so in, this is a really cool vintage look.